Right now we're heading on the MRT, we are going to the Klong Toei Market and then we're going to head to the Chiang Mai soccer game. Which one is it? That's better than me. Chiang Mai. Oh, <laughs> we're in Bangkok. We're going to watch Port FC play Chiang Rai. There you go. <laughs> My favourite's the street dogs. Okay, so we got on the MRT, got off at Klong Toei Station, we walked up the escalator, we're outside, it's beautiful. And it's raining! <laughs> Looks like it's getting worse, we'll see how we go. Yeah, it's not gonna rain. It's not gonna rain? I've never ever seen anything like this before. I've ever been in any market or anything like this ever in my whole life so this is the first experience for me and there's a lot it's a lot going on it's really crazy but the hustle and bustle is really cool and seeing where everyone buys their food and produce and so this is the biggest like market ever I didn't expect this I thought it was gonna be like a street market with um, food and things I mean it is food and things but there more would of a be. fresh produce market. yeah we're here at the Klong Toei Market. It is the biggest market that I've ever seen in my life. It is crazy. <laughs> We're walking through everywhere and there's people throwing fish and throwing feet, cow's feet and cat fish and <laughs> spinach just across the thing. It was amazing and there was just so much to see, so much to buy. There's meat and food and fruit and everywhere that you can look. It was, it's, I've never seen anything like this in my life. I've never been to something like this. If you know me, this is my first time in Thailand and this was such a unique experience. This is amazing to see things like this. I also heard that restaurants and cafes and, ooh, car. <laughs> There's a lot of them. <laughs> restaurants and cafes in Thailand, no matter where they are in Bangkok, come here to get their fresh produce and meat and food and everything to cook with. So this must be the market to be at, yeah. right? Oh, I don't want that to fall on me! <laughs> so apparently, Klong Toei has a bit of a bad rap with um, not being the safest area and everything like that, but we went the long way around the market and took some detours because we were having a really good experience. There was kids waving at us, saying hello, and people very inquisitive about the camera and everything, and it was really... I've never experienced, I know I've said that five times, but never experienced anything like that and it was really, really cool to see. Now we're walking to the game and we have people in the park playing um, their own game of soccer, I think, before the game starts. So we are coming up to the stadium now. We're just going to stop by and grab some tickets. Um, apparently you have to be a little bit early <laughs> to do that, so that's what we're going to do now. And then we're going to head back out to the street and we're just going to grab some street food and maybe some meat on a stick and maybe some drinks, see what they have. So Michael's obsessed with soccer and he likes FC. Tell him about it. <laughs> port FC. So Port FC is like the, the club that represents the, the port area or the dock area of Bangkok. So where like the boats and all that come in, which is traditionally like your sort of lower income area, I guess. So this club's got an awesome support from the locals. We just walked through Kwong Toei Market and we just walked through the community here. But this, like these guys, this is the, like the heart of their community. And you come into this area that has like lower budget apartments and lower budget shops and there's this stadium right in the middle of it with big floodlights and, and the awesome seats and big orange and blue everywhere which tells you how important this club is to the local people apparently it's got a pretty big foreign support base as well because it's like the closest atmosphere you can kind of get to like an english sort of game yeah, is okay. here because they're like so like parochial and excited about their team should be good <laughs> so we picked up our tickets we're in zone c it's a stand but it's not undercover zone a was already sold out and we're two hours early before kickoff so if you're coming to a game like this come early <laughs> now michael's just in there he's getting a jersey and he's getting uh his name put on it and everything like that i think he said that cost around 1090 baht i'm pretty sure and our tickets were i think 120 baht each uh, so pretty good, but now we're just waiting for a shirt to print and then we're gonna head and get some food and stuff before we go in to watch the game We got some chicken on a stick three of them two for me one for Michael You've got a massive beer like a massive beer with a straw with ice is crazy And then I just got a water because you can't take food or drink in there and I'm not gonna skull a five liter <laughs> you won't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> it looks like just some fried chicken 
and all of us together was 100 what baht? 160. 160 baht for Which is about seven dollars Australian or six dollars US, five dollars US. For three of these, a big five liter beer. <laughs> it's not five liters, but it looks five liters, and a water. Is it mm. nice? Mm hmm. What you want it. Mm. Mm. So just sitting outside the game, it is about seven o'clock and kickoffs in about 30 minutes. So we're just getting our fried chicken in. <laughs> so this is so different to a, a game or a game of soccer or football in Australia. You don't really, you don't eat outside. <laughs> Street food isn't really a thing in Australia, um, but normally you'd go in there and you would sit and you would have a hot dog or something while you're watching the game, a drink inside, a small beer, very small beer. And a mid strength, half strength. Mid strength beer. So if you want to be like this, you have to pay 400 and, <laughs> 480 baht <laughs> but yeah we're just having a good time but at home it's not really like this at all this is definitely more lively <laughs> and feels more like nice fun, fun. fun. Yeah. yeah fun so i've been to football all around the world i've been to barcelona i've been to uh london to watch premier league clubs germany bundesliga dortmund bayern munich all of those all the big clubs around the world and i think the best atmosphere pre-game is definitely Thailand. I reckon it's like to be able to do this beforehand. Germany's kind of like this. You'll have like drinks and and food and all that sort of stuff out the front in in Germany, similar to this. But this is just like you can't beat an ice cold beer on a hot evening in the afternoon and then watch a game of football under lights. It's so good. And no other countries like this. Maybe other Southeast Asian countries are, but this is the best. This is the best. <laughs> So we're here at the game and I just had someone come up and say they watch my channel and I'm so happy. <laughs> so hi. There's probably still what 500 odd people outside or 300 odd people outside. Probably more than yeah, I'd say probably more than that. So there's a lot of people that are still drinking and eating. Yeah. Well, that's Michael's jersey we got and I'm wearing it. So the last two football games we went to were in Chiang uh, Mai and it was a lot quieter than this one so there is definitely a crowd and an atmosphere happening and there's a lot more people here as well oh 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 good save i'm on my phone because i put my camera away but we just i think we just scored but i think he's pulling it offside so What's your thoughts on what just happened? Classic, Chiang Rai didn't want to win. <laughs> they were happy to get a draw, so they they defended all game. But I will say, I've seen some dodgy refereeing in my time, yeah. and that was the most dodgy refereeing I've ever seen, especially the, the, the linesman on this side. I think the referees went for Chiang Rai. <laughs> awesome money was in someone's pocket, that's for sure. <laughs> Michael's very passionate about football. It was just really bad refereeing, but the atmosphere was really good and despite being a nil-nil scoreline, it was a really entertaining game. It was, it was, it was good to watch. So good. I've seen three nils and three ones and like not as entertaining as that, that was still entertaining. I will say that this um this game was a lot like even just the stadium where we're sitting and everything is a lot like pleas more pleasant to be in than the one that we went to in Chiang Mai I think that one was because there was like a, a running track around it or something you felt so far away from the, the pitch or is that a pitch field yeah, <laughs> but this one like you feel like like it's right there so yeah it was really good to watch yeah disappointing there wasn't a goal but we got a disallowed goal so we, everyone celebrated like it went oh, in oh true so yeah. it kind of felt like we got it anyway I think I got that on, on my phone I had put my camera away because like nothing was happening and then all of a sudden everything happened. Well that was a super entertaining game and I've done two things today that I haven't really done before. Well I've been to a game in Chiang Mai, we went to two, but I haven't been to one in Bangkok and I haven't been to one with this much energy and I haven't gone to a market before like that like I did this morning so it was, today was a very eventful day but now we're gonna go and go home, get on the MRT, head to bed, it's late now and make sure you like and subscribe. Leave me a comment below if you go for Chiang Rai or What's this one called? Or Port FC, okay? And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I've got chicken in my teeth. <laughs>